Hey guys, it's Claire. Sorry, excuse the crazy noise outside the kids next door having a party or something. But I just wanted to let you guys know I'm going to be back trying to do um, YouTube videos again. Last time I made one, which was, hmm, I would say like two years ago. Um, just about the month after that, I found out that I was pregnant and I now have a beautiful one-year-old little boy, and so we ended up moving back home because we were in a different state at that time when I found out I was pregnant, so um, I just got really busy with that, and it was amazing and awesome, and now he's growing up, so he's a little bit more independent, so I have a little bit of downtime, and I'm starting to pick up all my old, you know, hobbies and favorite pastimes, which obviously is playing with makeup. <laughs> so I just wanted to, um, you know, do my reintroduction to YouTube by doing a favorites of October. So let's get started. This month I um, purchased my very first Makeup Forever product. I've been dying, dying, dying to get the foundation and, um, I realized the other day that I don't like quite that full face coverage. I mean, you, you could, you know, share it out and, you know, make it like that. But I, I realized that what I mostly like is just a concealer and then um, a powder over it if I need it. And so I decided to go for the Makeup Forever Full Cover um, Waterproof camouflage cream. Extreme camouflage cream. So, um, I have, whoa, sorry, webcam right now. I have number seven, um, and I love this. It is waterproof. I put this on this morning at, let's say, 10 o'clock, and it is now six o'clock, and it has not moved at all. Um, I barely got oily, which is amazing, because usually I have to powder, 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 or, you know, blot, and I've only had to repowder one time. Because I live in a very, very humid place. So, this is impressive. And I have been pairing it with this, which is another favorite of this month. It's just the baked, um, what is this? Just a, a, a compact, uh, colored, colored powder, um, by Sephora. I just got the Sephora one instead of the Makeup Forever one because I just use it lighter. It's kind of, it's better than translucent to me because I, I'm very red, so it covers a little bit of redness and it's still, you know, the powder to mattify and stuff like that, which also, this is very, very mattifying. It's great. I love it. The only thing is, um, set it quickly because it does, you know, it, it does a good job of mattifying and drying quickly. So, um, as soon as you put it on, set it with this baby. Well, that's what I did. And it's great. I've only had to repowder one time and that's been awesome. My next favorite is nails, and I got this at Sally's on sale. Just thinking, okay, it's on sale, and I haven't tried Orly yet, this brand. So, um, I got it thinking I'll give it a try. I didn't like the colors, so I, I just kind of went, okay, I'll try it. I want to see what the formula is like. And, you know, I, I put it on. It's these ones here, not the black. The black is matte. Um, and this color is Decades of Dysfunction, and I love the color on. I really didn't think I would because it has this, like, kind of, I want to say, like, a pinky purple undertone. Like, from afar, it looks like maybe, like, a, kind of like a grayish white, but it's kind of got a little bit of, like, a, a violet undertone to it. And... I ended up really liking it. And I like the formula. It only took two coats, which was nice, because when I first put the first coat on, I was like, oh, now this is going to take, like, four coats. And then by the time I put the second coat on, I went, oh, no, that just totally fixed itself and thickened up really nicely. All right, my next couple favorites are some drugstore items. This is my absolute, absolute favorite mascara ever. I've, I've bought some higher-end mascaras at like Sephora and stuff before, and I I just don't splurge on mascaras because of this one, basically, because this one works so, so well for me. 
Um, this is the Extra Super Lash by Rimmel. And this is newer packaging. Because the other one I had was a different packaging. It was, I think it was kind of purplish. Not the tube, but the label was kind of purplish. And so I couldn't find it for the longest time. And I just kept going, oh no, you know, they discontinued it. And then I picked it up and kind of looked at it for a little while and realized, um, it has similar names. And what I really liked about it is the formula and this brush. It's a tapered brush. And I, I, I bend my brush so that it's easier. But can you see that? See how it's bent. It's, it's not normally supposed to be bent. I just bend it at the end like that so that it's easier to get into all the nicks and crannies. But the brush is like, oh, my favorite. And I really like this formula. And it stays on well. Um, I don't like wearing waterproof because it just ruins my eyes. It just, I can't handle it. It always sticks no matter what I try and it just clumps and just stays on my eyes for days and it just irritates my eyes. And I've tried everything. I have all these makeup removers and I've tried olive oil and baby wipes. And so this one says on here is that it's suitable for sensitive eyes, which is cool and it's not waterproof. But you could have fooled me. It works like waterproof to me anyway, but without having to scrub your eyeballs out to take it off. So that's And then my final favorite. I'm sorry, I have to take it out of the package because this is um I just I just bought a new container of this because I just finished my old sample one. Is the um Cores Mattifying Primer, and this is the one that, um, this is the one that is the, what is it called? I can't think of it. It's got pomegranate in it, I believe is this one. Yeah, pomegranate face primer. And so I had received a, like a bonus sample of this. Oh. You know, when you buy, like, a certain amount of stuff it's for, and you build up the points, and so this ended up, a sample of this is what I chose to use my points on. And I had never gotten a primer, a real primer before, like, you know, a, a legit nice one. And so I started getting curious about primers because I just could never, you know, being in such a humid climate, could never get my makeup to stay in any form. <laughs> like, everything would just drip off in the first 20 minutes I walked outside and so I was like you know maybe I'll invest in a primer and then I saw this bonus you know and I decided to use my points to try it and lo and behold this one has worked wonders for me I mean just incredible and I love it I this is the only one I use I, I don't even want to try anymore I've, I've tried a couple more and like Smashbox didn't work for me and um what's it called? I even did the like H D setting powder from Makeup Forever and that didn't really work for me either and so I've just been kinda of playing around with stuff and so far this is just like the holy grail for me. So this is I have a couple all time favorites in here. Okay, and then my last one, I don't think I've done this one yet. Is the carbon black Pencil Perfect from L'Oreal. It's just the um, mechanical pencil. But it, it, it's like when you put it on, it kind of looks like liquid eyeliner because it's just so pigmented and it's really smooth and it's it's the stain power is fantastic. And um, I had never bought this before. I usually just use the NYX Jumbo Pencil and the black one. And then I um, set it with black eyeshadow or dark eyeshadow. And I've always used that and, you know, just didn't think of investing in even a slightly higher, you know, staying power one. And then this one was on sale and I went, okay, you know, it's a few dollars off, so I might as well try it. And it's been great so far. It's, um, it's definitely a favorite for this month. I've used it with every makeup look because I like. I usually like filling my waterline or at least tight lining the top. And, um, I love it. It's awesome. I, I didn't think that an eyeliner from the drugstore that was, you know, like this was going to be 
any better than using the, the jumbo pencil, but I really like it so far. And that is it. That's it. Okay. Well, there's 10 minutes of your life. You just wasted watching my video. I hope you like it. <laughs> um, I have a couple makeup looks to upload, just pictures right now, but I will hopefully start doing tutorials again soon. Um, I had a whole bunch of tutorials stored up to post while I was pregnant, and then my fiance's computer self-destructed on the move back over here, and I lost everything, so I have to start over again. Alright, well, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.